Welcome to part 3 of 3 videos covering the topic How to construct the common internal tangent to two circles of different diameters. In the previous video we started the construction and in today's video we'll be finishing the drawing. Now at the end of the video I'll be showing you how to indicate the point of tangency which I did not do in the first video entitled how to construct the common external tangent to two circles of different diameters. So we are looking forward to seeing you at the end of today's video. We'll be starting the video now. Enter to get to our last command. All right, I'm gonna move A also for neatness. All right, so and this will be our completed drawing, right? Now, I'm going to draw the center lines for the circle. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to come up back to my layer properties manager and I'm going to make a, a new layer called center line. And I'm going to change the con from the continuous um, line type to a center line. So I'm going to come here, I'm going to load the center, press OK. And then I'm going to select it and then press OK. Alright, so that's the, that is our center line. The next layer I'm going to make is a text layer. Alright, so we're going to go text. And the text layer. Okay, it is OK. Alright, so we can close this. Alright. So I'm going to put this line on the center line. And see it resembles a center line here. Now in technical drawing, our center line must extend a little bit. Let us turn on ortho to make sure the line is horizontal. Right, so we go there. There, good. We're gonna draw a vertical line. We're gonna go to the center line layer. We're gonna draw a vertical line from turn turn on snap from there to there enter all right then I'm going to draw another center line from here I'm gonna turn our snap to there Enter. We're going to draw another one below. Just a completeness. You're not going to see because the, the dimension lines are would be covering it. I'm going to turn our snap. I'm going to choose right there. Enter. I'm going to draw another line from B. I'm going to turn on object snap. There. I'm going to click there. Enter. All right, so those are our center lines for our circle. Um, the next thing we're going to do, we're going to label the tangent and the normal, okay? So we're going to go up to our text layer. Did we make a text layer? All right, let's make a text layer. So text. All right, so we're going to go to our text layer. And we're going to go to single line text. I'm going to turn our snap. I'm going to choose right here. The height would be 4, rotational angle would be 120. Alright, so we're going to label this tan gent. All right, we need to rotate it, all right? So we're going to rotate. Click on the object, which in this case will be the word tangent. You're going to click the end of T as a base point, and we're going to rotate it. We're going to turn off um, ortho. There is a word tangent. All right, we're going to label it normal too, okay? Um, I'm going to put it right here and right here. So I'm going to move B, all right? I'm going to put it below instead of above. Alright, so we're going to go single line text. I'm going to 
choose right here as a start point, right there. All right, the height would be four. The rotational angle would be 60. All right, so we're gonna type normal. There it is, normal. All right, we're gonna move the B. So get some space, we're gonna move B, press enter, select a base point, I'm gonna to put it right there. All right, so we're gonna label right there normal. We're gonna make the height um, three millimeters instead of four, all right, because the space is smaller. Or I could extend the line and put it on the outside, but I'm gonna let it stay as is. So I'm gonna go single line text. I'm gonna choose right here. The height, I'm going to make it 3 millimeters instead of 4. Enter. The rotational angle will be 60. And this would be normal. Alright, so good, this would have completed our drawing for today. Okay. Now, the normal, depending on the question that you, that you got, um, the normal doesn't normally extend beyond the tangent, right? So what I'm going to do, I'm going to use a break command to break this normal at F. And from F to D, I'm going to let it be a construction line, okay? So I'm going to go to the modify ribbon. I'm going to choose break at a point. I'm going to select the line. Then the break point, I need to turn on object snap to pick up, pick up the intersection. So I'm going to come, there it is, perpendicular, I click on it, right? So when I click on this line now, see it's a different line. So I'm going to put that line on the construction layer. Did I make a, con or I can put it on the zero layer, right? And see, I now have the normal stopping at F. Because um, in, in, in the most textbooks, it would stop at F, but if it extended up, um, beyond D, it wouldn't be incorrect. So this is our completed drawing. Now, the next thing we can do to complete the drawing in its totality is to label the drawing using a multi-line text. So we come here, and we can say, to construct a common internal tangent oh we need the 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 height to be four four millimeters not three it's too small so i'm gonna come here I'm gonna choose four here and make it bigger all right good come on internal tangent two two circles of different diameters. All right, so this would have completed our drawing. So let's center it so we can see our ma magnificent work. All right, so this is it right here, right? So good job if you followed along. In the next video, if you're asked to show indicate the point of tangency on your tangent drawing, then you would select on the circle, you will go center radius. You come to the intersection here, you click on it, and for the radius, you would put one millimeter. Press enter. Right, and there it is, that dot would indicate the point of tangency. We're going to do the same thing at E. So we go here, center radius. Right there, the radius you want to put one and press enter. So the dot in the indicates where is the point of tangency. So what we would do now, where E is, Remember, the E was for our um, class tutorial, so the E is not required. So at this point, you're going to go all caps, and you're going to write P, 
full stop OT, point of tangency. Right? So what we'll have to do is move it now. So we're going to use the move command. I'm going to select the object. Press enter. I'm going to click the base point. I'm going to turn off object snap. I'm going to turn off perpendicular. I'm going to choose right there. Right? Point of tangency. We're also going to label at F. We're going to label backspace. So this is P full stop, O full stop, T full stop. Point of tangency. All right? Likewise, we can put the full stop after the T here. Um, just a completeness, right? So this is how you would indicate the point of tangency on your tangent drawing if you are required to do so. So good job if you followed along. We have come to the end of today's video. In today's video, we looked at the construction of the common internal tangent to two circles of different diameters. Good job if you got it correct. And in the next video, we'll be looking at the construction of a normal and tangent to a selected point on a circle. Then we'll be looking at the construction of a tangent to a circle from a given point P. Then we'll be looking at the construction of a common external tangent to two circles of similar diameters. And the last drawing that we'll be doing under the topic tangents is how to construct the common internal tangent to two circles of the same diameters. So we look forward to seeing you in the next video. And please take care until we meet again. And at CAD with Mr. U, we aim to become your favorite AutoCAD resource online. And we thank you for joining us. So take care until we meet again. Bye. We have come to the end of today's video. Today's video looked at the construction of the normal and tangent to two circles of different diameters. In the next video, we'll be looking at the construction of a tangent um, to a circle, a tangent from a point P to a circle, and a common external tangent to two circles of the same diameter. And finally, the common internal tangent to two circles of the same diameter. So we're looking forward to seeing in, in you seeing you in the next video. Please take care until we meet again. Bye. Thanks for watching the video. And don't forget to subscribe, hit the notification bell, like, comment, and share.